some hard-hitting DX Nation action tomorrow night on pay-per-view. No doubt about that, but folks, up next, right here on Shotgun Saturday Night 2 Fight. Their opponents at a combined weight of 539 pounds. Big man hailed from the state of Texas, Rick Shaw and Perry Porter. As the Texas Victor wear the ring, folks, don't forget, WWF is going to be live in Anaheim, Airhead Prime, this Monday night. The Sports Arena, San Diego, California. A huge WWF event on Tuesday night. Not to mention coming to Kansas City, Kemper Arena, Sunday, August the 9th. The Rosemont Horizon in suburban Chicago on Friday, August the 14th. Where SummerSlam is already sold out in New York City's Madison Square Garden. We're going to be live on Raw on Monday, August 31st in the New Haven Coliseum. Not to mention the Songus Arena in Lowell, Massachusetts. On Tuesday, September the 1st, the uh, Titan Tron and over 40 WWF superstars will be on hand for that one. And boy, JR, this is going to be a rip snorter because uh, too much, you can see they're already wasting too much time. They're trying to uh, hot dog for the crowd again, try to figure out a way that they're going to be able to come out on top of two tough Texans like Bradshaw and Terry Funk. Too much may have bitten off too much here. Bradshaw and Funk are scheduled to meet Scorpio and Farouk on pay-per-view tomorrow night at Fully Loaded. And certainly a Too Much who has a, a wealth of potential. If you look past their the veneer of their uh, immaturity, shall we say, they're both great young athletes who I think can be one of the more uh, prominent teams here in the WWF if they would ever focus on their opponents. If they would ever just grow up a little bit and stop hot-dogging and stop showboating and concentrate on using the talent that they possess, they've got tremendous quickness and a lot of wrestling knowledge. And Brian Christopher, for a guy who's only about 27 years old, has nine years of experience in his business. Bradshaw is a, he is a real hoss, is this big Texan. Young, strong, he's got himself in great shape. And uh, certainly is uh, still alive in the brawl for all. And there's a, a drop kick and just about everything that, uh, that too hot could muster still didn't take Bradshaw down. Well, I, I've got to say this, when you talk about the brawl for all, Bradshaw is still alive in it. As you look at him with a beautiful oh. fallaway slam, but so is Dr. Death Steve Williams. What would it be like, JR, if Bradshaw was to meet Dr. Death in a brawl for all? I think that would be the brawl for all time. That would be the brawl over the Red River right there, the big Oklahoman and the Texan. And not to mention, what about uh, a guy like uh, Bart Gunn and, and Dan the Beast Severn? I mean, there's going to be some very interesting matchups as the brawl for all continues. And that will be a, a major part, I'm sure, of Raw on Monday night, live from the Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim, California. Hey, Brian Christopher just made a little mistake, but Bradshaw hesitated too long, and Taylor got his thumbs in both eyes. And no matter how big or how strong you are, those eyes are, are sensitive uh, parts of the anatomy, to say the least. Double drop kick, Bradshaw reeling, and now he's knocked through the ropes, and he landed right on his feet, the big son of a gun. And he's coming right back in. Look out, too much. You're hot-dogging again. Bradshaw now, he can just manhandle just about any adversary, and and traveling and, and teaming with a, a living, genuine legend in this business and Terry Funk. He's got to do nothing but help the youngster Bradshaw. And listen to the ovation for the 54-year-old who just had a birthday a couple of weeks ago and he's still going strong. I'm going to tell you what, I saw Terry Funk fight Jerry the King Lawler, who everybody claims is related to Brian Christopher. I've seen them have some real wars, and now it looks like that Brian Christopher's picking up where the king left off. There is nobody in this business, and there is no fan in this country that does not respect Terry Funk. Oh. He's one of the all-time greatest. Oh, what a knife edge shot there. Terry Funk, he's asking the fans here, do you want him? He's like he's, he's throwing out the garbage here. Terry Funk giving the fans what they want. Well, young Brian Christopher is hurting. He's fixed to hurt worse. Oh, well, look how big Bradshaw is. Bradshaw's got to be 6'7", around 300 pounds. And now the the dean of hardcore, Ooh. Terry Funk, with a neck breaker. And now the, the, the lateral press, and of course, uh, Scott Taylor saw what was going on there, James. And 
Made the uh, interruption and now gets his turn. Boy, like Perry always says, he is tougher than shoe leather and meaner than a hollow-eyed scorpion. And Terry Funk just keeps going and going in this business. It is just a testament to how tough this man is. I think he's tougher now, JR, than he was 20 years ago. Maybe he's got to be at 54 years of age. And certainly you know that Terry Funk and Bradshaw, with a pay-per-view opportunity tomorrow night, will turn, up, uh, turn it up a notch or two, to say the very least. And the roll, there's a DDT, the Red Hot team of Scorpio and Farouk. There's a cover, one, two, and a near fall. Scorpio and Farouk have been on a roll, so that's going to be an interesting matchup. Four fan favorites, but who cares? Yeah, I don't think they well, look care. At look at this. It's the Oklahoma roll. Haven't seen that one in 15 years, JR. Farouk and Scorpio at fully loaded. They better be ready. They better be loaded because they're going to get the, they're going to get a wrestling lesson. If they're not, Brian, get in there and do something, you mullet. That was uh, the uh, late great Leroy McGurk's one of his favorite moves, and then Danny Hodge assumed that. The Oklahoma roll. Well, that brings back some memories of uh, Saturday afternoon wrestling in Grady's house. And there's a tag made, and now Brian Christopher comes back in. JR, I gotta ask you. Terry Funk's 54 years old. He's got about 10 years on you. How'd you like to be in there doing moonsaults? Oh, I'll pass. I have a hard time describing them. And Bradshaw, he's well rested. He's ready to go here. And now, and there's a tag. Too much had an opportunity to isolate Terry, oh. but they didn't get it done. Well, Bradshaw, he goes high for that head, boy. And he missed Taylor, but he caught him on the backside. Knife edge chop knocks down uh, Brian Christopher, and now too much. Well, when these two youngsters get isolated by this big, this big monstrous Texan, you can see the damage. They've got to isolate and Whoa. stick and move, and they're not being able to do that or too much. Bradshaw is just, he's so much to handle. He is so much to handle. What? Watch the boot, that's the lariat! Man, that was a train wreck. That big Brahma bull just ran over Scott Taylor and the two Texans. The team. Well, oh, I tell you what, they have, I think they've got the potential to really get something going. Bradshaw and Funk. We'll find out tomorrow night on pay-per-view when they meet Scorpio and Farouk. Farouk and Scorpio better watch it.